right, I'm going to try to re walk back through this again. You know, this right here is a hang 10 dart. You see the special striping that goes on these cars. It was off of back So The striping was red and blue, and the uh, the cars were all white. They had that special red interior. They call it bikini interior. But what made these cars special is the back seat laid down on them as well. So you could lie, you could... Uh, open it up all the way to the back of the front seat so you could put your surfboards in it or you could camp out on the beach or what have you uh, which was a pretty cool feature for these cars now you can see this car was originally a bucket seat console car and somebody's relieved it of the factory bucket seats in the console but it still has that bikini interior which was uh, what they called this uh, particular pattern on the doors if you look this car still has part of the fold up back seat now, that right there carried through on the seats as well, which was pretty cool. You know, you don't see that, and it had that special red sleek on the dash inlaid. Somebody's got the cluster and the shifter and the console and the bucket seats out of it, but what makes this car super special is right there. Not the tree growing through it, but the fact that this car was a factory sunroof as well. Well, that's kind of special to have the tree growing through it. And it would have had a crank in the front that you cranked that back to open it. Now this car also, look, was a, uh, looks like it may have been disc brakes because somebody's got that off of the front. But it's also a V8 car, which was pretty cool. The majority of these were six cylinders. You know, you hit these back in the day, they, they didn't have much money, so economy was the way to go. A clean grill. Arc lights are messed up in it, but you get a better shot of the stripes that run all the way down this car. And this was really a sharp package that they offered. Because these stripes would have been blue and red that run the fender. And when you get to the back, the reason why I call this hang 10, you see those stripes break out into a wave. And you see the waves right there. And at the very end of it, you can make out a little guy surfing. He's leaned into it, hanging off of that wave. Like, you know, he's doing a hang 10 right there, off of that wave. And that's where they got the name for this package was a hang 10 dart. Now, he looks, they've got the brackets inside for the console. That sunroof is just blowing me away, especially with that tree through it. What a shame. That was factory, too. Yep, factory, factory. Original, what a cool and what a super rare car to find one of these sitting in a junkyard like this. Wow. It's a shame this didn't get it's, saved. It is, because the looks of this car was probably decent when it first came in here. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. And it being a V8 car too, I'm going to try to get over here and get a, a good pan shot of it. You can see it's been sitting here for a while. The trees are growed up through it and around it. But that's it, a true hang 10 dart. Fold down back seat, still some of the original bikini interior. Factory sunroof V8 column, uh, console shifted bucket yeah, seat car. Wow. I'm not sure. I'll see if I can get the VN off of it. The door's missing. There's no inspection sticker. And the VIN tag is gone. Somebody. I'm assuming that maybe this car is living again. That may be why it's tucked so far back here that it's, so it'll never see the light of day again. But that is that, that is a Unless cool, they got it cool a car. Or yeah. Maybe a fake around out That is a cool, cool car. It is a shame to see something that cool in there. And that car doesn't look like it was that bad. Couldn't have been that bad when they put it back here. Wow. I don't know what makes people do stuff like that. Yeah, you know, 70s and 80s, it's been a while. You know, that was just a mm -hmm. used up old car in in one day. Bad, gas was high and yep. That was a Corolla in the future. Yep. All right, I'm going to break this off right here. We may have to come back and revisit this. They're calling us, wanting us to, to roll out of here. I'll, uh, I'm going to sign off now and see if uh, Bob can work his editing magic to make something, some chicken salad out of my video here. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Remember, hit the uh, subscribe and like and comment. We appreciate it. Bye.